Hello and welcome to another video from Double Rail. In this video we're going to take a look at the APT restoration project we've been working on. And in this video we're going to take a look at some of the changes that we're going to make to the um, trailing and uh, driving cars. So the first thing that we need to do is to um, to actually open the, uh, the trailing car. And it's uh, pretty tricky and one thing to keep in mind as well that these models are about well, they were made in about 1980 or so. So you're looking at um, you know the things being over 32 years old. So the plastic may be a little brittle. Um, this is our uh, second APT set. Um, we have one Christine APT set that we're, we're obviously not going to mess with. Uh, this is a um, a repair project, and so um, we're going to um, see if we can also improve it a little bit. So um, one of the the key problems with the APT is this uh, ghastly pink interior and um, if you ever look at some of the real photos of the APT uh, you'll see as well that the actual windows here are tinted so um, we have two options one is to try to uh, paint and possibly do something with this uh, ghastly pink interior um, or another option would be to tint these windows here and originally I was going to use um, window tinting film that you can get for cars um, but gluing that to the inside of the um, plastic here just uh, didn't seem to, to want to work out so instead we're, we're going to go ahead and paint the inside plastic um, with a watered down um, black acrylic paint and hopefully that will give us the, the same effect that we're looking for um, it might even work a little bit better if we, we do some interior lighting. Um, I'm not quite sure if we're going to attempt that or not. So um, the first thing we need to do is actually clean these models up. Uh, I haven't actually cleaned them since they arrived from Rails of Sheffield a few months ago. So um, I'm just going to show you how to remove the, um, the components and how to dismantle this, um, this trailing car. If you look here, there's a, this is actually the one off the other end. Um, you can see that there's two plastic clips here that hold the door in and this actually holds the whole end of the um, car here into the actual frame so if I uh, move this up just a little bit I'll show you the one we've dismantled here you can see that these little plastic pieces here that hold the door in clip into here and here respectively so um, if you, you can easily pry the door back a little bit you can see there's a little bit of a gap and that gives you some room for movement to get the screwdriver very carefully in behind there to pop that out so once you've got that popped out there are three other plastic tabs that you need to deal with and just like when you're opening a HST or another model um, it's best to do it on one side and then angle it over so it pops the other side as well so the main one is a small little plastic tab right here and this actually pushes back in pretty far um, but don't push it back too far or it'll snap and just remember like I said the plastic on some of these are it's going to be pretty brittle so if you use too much force you, you could end up having to super glue it um, the other piece that you need to actually uh, worry about is on the front so if I spin this around put it back on the track here you will see that in the front there's a little tab right there and that tab has to be pushed in as well and then finally if I flip it over here for you to see there is a plastic tab right there and that basically gets pushed forward so if I hold that there this plastic tab just gets gently pushed downwards in order to release it then once you've done that you'll actually be able to remove most of the APT shell except for the bit that's secured here at the back. So if I push this back I can show you how exactly that works. So here as you can see it's one we've already opened but the plastic tab there is released. There's a plastic tab right here and then you basically will take from the front of it once it's unclipped and you'll lift it up and then there's just this piece at the end that will remain clipped in and if you look on the underneath of it there's uh, 
two holes. Since I showed you earlier, you can see here there are two clips here, and they just need to be pushed outwards on one side, and with a little bit of effort, it will release and come off. And what you'll be left with is this uh, empty shell. Now, um, the plastic piece here, which I already removed, this pink stuff um, with the seats on it, it comes straight on out. And you're basically left with uh, a very simple uh, piece of plastic. Here you can see the uh, tilt mechanism. It's just simply a piece of plastic contained within uh, two little loops because it's tilt back and forth. And likewise, there's one on the other end as well. And to make the lights work, it's very much like the HST. You have your diode, your two contact wires, and a bulb. So what we're gonna do with this APT project, aside from just cleaning it up, we're going to replace the uh, bulb and the diode here and the contact wires with two LEDs. Uh, we're gonna put a red LED and a yellow LED. And if you're wondering why we're not using a white LED, um, the plastic pieces here on the front are, um, are clear plastic. And if you ever look at any of the um, photos for uh, APT, you'll see that there's kind of a yellow halogen tinge to the lights. So um, what we're gonna do is wire them uh, in reverse. So we'll use a 330 ohm resistor here and two large LEDs, and they'll be wired down backwards. And the reason we'll wire them backwards is uh, from each other is so that um, the red LED will function when the um, locomotive is traveling in one direction and the uh, yellow LED will function when it's uh, traveling forward. And then obviously we'll do the reverse of those wirings on the, um, on the other car. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and uh, clean this up a little bit with some, uh, just some water and a tiny little bit of soap. And um, we'll get back to the video in a few minutes. Okay, so we've uh, gone ahead and cleaned just uh, one power car, or sorry, not power car, the trailing car, and you can see it, it cleaned up pretty well, and we also cleaned the base. Uh, now we did have some casualties, um, the plastic there was a bit brittle, um, so in cleaning it we did break those off, but it's okay, we can uh, super glue those back here in a little bit. Um, so one of the problems that you have with the EPT is the um, the lighting, and usually what you get is an intermittent pulsing or it not working at all or it only working when it goes around bends. And the reason for this is if you look here real closely, um, there are just two copper contacts um, that are wired to either side of the um, of the diode and the bulb, and um, you can see it there on the thing, but they basically just touch up against the axle. Uh, which is metal, but if you look there real carefully, um, over time that copper gets a little messed up and just simply doesn't make contact properly anymore. Um, so what we've done temporarily uh, for this one is just uh, bent it back into shape. Um, we tried a couple of things including putting on the underneath instead of the top. Um, unfortunately it doesn't have much of a much of an impact. So um, what we're gonna do next is basically um, paint the, um, the inside here. And if I put back in the plastic um, interior, you'll see that it's uh, just not as tinted as it should be um, from photos and so on. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, tint it with a kind of a, a black color and see how that works out. So for this we're going to use this um, basic acrylic paint and we're going to use a very fine um, paintbrush here. So uh, we're just going to paint the bottom half of it for now and we're going to let that dry and then we'll go and, and paint the top half after it's dried and once we're happy with the, um, the result.
that's it. Um, there you can see the end result looks pretty good. And um, I'll just show you the technique that I used there since I think it was off camera. So you need to use a, a fairly substantial amount of paint and you basically just start at one end and brush it from one left to right. Like so. You want to get a good even coating of paint otherwise you'll have um, something that kind of resembles a um, painted window <laughs> as opposed to the uh, tint effect that we're trying to get. And it doesn't matter if it's uh, not super smooth on the inside, uh, no one's ever going to see that. And so if I flick it over you can see um, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's always best to hold it up to the light in case you've uh, missed a few spots. Uh, it looks like I've missed just a, a few spots here in the middle. And that's looking um, pretty good. And so what I'll do is uh, do that for the rest of it. Um, if you want to look on the inside there, it doesn't look quite as pretty, but it gets the job done. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll continue to do this for the, um, the rest of this side, and we'll let it dry, we'll flip it over, and then do it on the other side. And so if you just want to see the end result there, you can see it's um, a lot better. It has that nice reflective finish that you see on the real APT. So we're going to let this dry. As you can see there, it's not as pretty on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and let this dry, and then um, we'll go ahead and paint the other side. Okay, so um, it's been a couple hours, and uh, you can see here we have painted both sides of the AVT, and it's looking uh, pretty sharp, especially if you put it at that angle. And we'll flick it around, you can see it from your side as well. So, what we're going to do is just uh, temporarily clip this back on just so we can get the uh, the full effect so um, there you can see the um, APT and it's uh, now got these fully tinted windows and if you just wanted a comparison um, you can put the original here in front of it and show you the difference. So, this here is the one that has been not modified. It's got that ghastly pink. It's a bit of a scratch there through the, this particular one. And then here you can see the end result. It's got that much more reflective surface and looks um, just just a lot better. And so here you can see the um, completed product. It looks very nice. It's got a very cool reflective finish. And if you want to take a look at the um, original here, you can see just uh, not quite as realistic. Is what you get with that. It's just uh, a lot better, and it's a very simple, simple fix. Okay, and so here's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, the one in the front here has been unmodified. And if I uh, just move it out of the way, you can see that the paint makes a substantial difference. Um, looks more tinted, like the real thing. 
I think just overall improves the look quite considerably and it hides that um, ghastly pink seating inside so you don't have to mess with that. Um, I did put the pink seating back in just so that the um, train was balanced the way it should be from the factory um, but overall it's a very nice modification. So in part two of this video we're going to go and uh, put in the yellow and red LEDs and hopefully um, fix the intermittent light problem with the LEDs in there and uh, improve this uh, ABD some more by giving it some directional lighting and we'll also do the same modifications to the other trailing car. Okay, so I um, hope you find this video useful video and uh, until next time.